Hi guys, little vintage me 64 here. Today is my second time in the car and I'm still not sure where to look. Uh, we're going to try something different today. We are actually going to try a free library. And most of you probably know what it is, but for those of you that don't, maybe you live in another country or another part of the country that doesn't do it, what it is is um, you see these little boxes outside of uh, people's homes in front of businesses. They are little wooden boxes that are on a post. They almost look like a large birdhouse, and there's books inside. And the idea is you uh, take a book and you leave a book. So we've got four of them that I know of here in town. So uh, I'm going to check one out. Today is Sunday, so there shouldn't be anybody around the one that I'm going to. Because I'm really basically shy, and I've always been too shy to go uh, and go to one of these boxes and, you know, check them out. Uh, let me turn the camera around here. I did bring a, a box of books. I even added a uh, cookbook to it. I'm not sure what, what I'm going to give away yet today. You know, because I'll probably just take one and leave one. I also have a puzzle here. I know that's not uh, customary to do that, but I thought, you know, not everybody likes to read books. And maybe somebody will go there and see this little puzzle and then maybe be able to give it to one of their kids or somebody to do that. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me turn the camera back around. So I'll be back here in just a moment when we get to our destination. Bye. Okay, guys, here we are. See, here's what it says. Now, let's look inside here and see what we got. If I don't find anything... Oh, a joke book. That might be kind of neat. Oh, there's some other puzzles in here. Look at here. That's cute. Oh, look at the kitty cat. I think I'm going to take the kitty cat one. Let's set this down on the floor for a minute. Let's put this one in here. Let's see what else they have. White Fang. Looks like mostly children's books. I wonder if that's because uh, we're here at the library, or at the library, we're here at the YMCA, I'm sorry. Doesn't look like any uh, grown-up books. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave this puzzle, and I think I'm going to take this puzzle too here, and I'm going to go get another book. Hold on a minute, let's go get another book. And we're going to put an adult book in here. We'll put this one in there. So we put two books and a puzzle in here. Okay. Well, that's pretty neat. And that's what that is. Okay, I'll see you back at home. Hey, you guys, I was on my way home and I just spotted another little library, so we're gonna go check it out. This is at a fire station. So let's see what they have in here. Hundred jokes and pranks. Joke book. Maybe I'll take this joke book. Let's put this up here for a second. Pioneer Girl, what is this big book here? The Avengers. Star Trek. First American Circus. Pirates. SpongeBob. Old Bernstein Bear book, but it's in too bad a shape. Endangered Animals. Okay, I think I'm going to take that joke book and we 
I'm going to take the joke book and we are going to leave this cooking book. Okay. Now I'm really going home now. So I'll see you at the house. Guys, I'm back to the house now. Boy, that was a successful little first trip, wasn't it? For my first time at the uh, free library. I cannot believe I got these two vintage Play School wood puzzles and all the pieces are there. Can you believe that? I am wondering if somebody just dropped those off, you know, like the past day or so. Because with all those books and all those people, you know, rummaging through there, I think it would be, you know, rare that one of these pieces wouldn't be, you know, missing. So I think that was a great score. I think I can get this cleaned up pretty well. Now, after I left uh, this box, I did sanitize my hands. Uh, then after I left the fire station, I sanitized. When I got home, I sprayed all three of these items with uh, Lysol. I washed my hands really well. And I think I can get these also cleaned up pretty good. See, there's like some scuff marks and stuff. But I think I can get all that cleaned up. And then uh, when my granddaughter comes over, she's two and a half, she can play with them. See, somebody else had the same idea to put puzzles in there. Because, you know, not everybody likes to read. So I am really happy that I checked uh, this library out, or these little libraries out today. I think I'm going to go back again, check out the other two. Uh, one of them is at the library. Uh, and then there's another one, a private one, in front of somebody's uh, house. So I'm going to have to check those out. Now, um... These boxes, and I did uh, make a little uh, note on one of the videos, these boxes here look more like little cabinets. I have seen some others that actually look more like uh, birdhouses. Some of them are very colorful. If you Google free library, you'll, you will see the other styles that are out there. And in the different cities, they have different kinds. Uh, let's see. Oh, I had a tip for you guys, too. If you have um, a flea market booth and you have things like this, and you're afraid that the puzzle pieces are going to, you know, fall down or, or somebody take them. They do make extra large uh, Ziploc bags. I think you're going to have to order them, though. Uh, I've never seen them here at, at any stores. You know, normally the largest size they have is the gallon size. But there are big ones where you can actually fit stuff like this in there. And then you can zip it up, add some tape, and that way people won't mess with your uh, pieces. Um, another thing I used to do is um, I used to use saran wrap and I'd wrap the item so you could still see, you know, what's underneath it in the condition. But then you can tape the saran wrap and that way they can't get into them. And if the puzzle does fall on the floor, you know, all the pieces stay intact. I, um, I'm not sure, but I bet if you go to Amazon and probably Google, you know, extra large Ziploc bags, you might be able to find them. I was able to get a few of them for free uh, when I got different, you know, auction boxes and storage locker boxes and things like that. Uh, I used to recycle the ones I used to find in there. So I hope you guys liked my uh, little trip today. Oh, I have one more thing. Did you guys notice or did you guys catch on why I left that cookbook at the fire station? Little old dorky me was thinking... Fire station and the firemen are usually known for cooking, so maybe they'll go in that box and see what books are in there, and we'll find that cookbook. So, okay, friends, uh, please stay safe, happy thrifting, and I'll see everybody very soon. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Bye, friends.